this is about to be a very chill vlog style type of try on haul i got a couple things from forever 21 i just want to show you guys what i got i'm going on a little getaway and i just got like some little chill lounge clothes to wear okay so excuse the mess in my background because i'm packing and it's a little messy this is the box of stuff i ordered from forever 21 and like i said i just got a couple chill chill pieces or whatever so these are some biker shorts that i got these are cool it's not the shiny material but i make sure i link everything down below it's just like a nice sorry my son is in there type of wash shirt and this is just cute little i feel like a cute little y'all since this is vlog style do i have to try them actually try them on so this is a shirt that i got and forever 21 did a collab with like some black artists for black history month and so this is one of the shirts and i just had to have this cord so you guys can see but i love it so much it's black art i don't have the shirt on i just have it kind of held up so I love this so much, so cute. I got a lot of graphic tees. This is another graphic tee that I got. This is a Malcolm X graphic tee. And I still have the shorts on. I think this is the only pair of pants I got. I love Malcolm X, like I'm obsessed. So when I seen this, I was so happy. I was like, yeah, I think this is a size medium, but I'm not sure. Yes, we love. We love a strong black man. Cutest shirt ever. Just a casual night out. And it's a black Barbie and Ken. I first seen this in store. And then I didn't get it because the line was too long. And then when I seen it online, I was like, oh, put it in the bag. Like, I want it. I have to get in a size small based on the fact that they were all sold out so it still fits though i'm sorry for the background noise y'all but it has like an acid wash look to it i don't know if it's coming up on camera y'all gonna see me in this probably the first day i land because this is just too comfortable it's super cute it's giving all the vibes so i know that this is why these brands do this like i haven't shopped there forever 21 in years literally years but i was seeing so many hauls they actually had some good stuff so i'm like let me go see what forever 21 what forever 21 is working with like okay you're not about to go up in there and find your wardrobe but just some little chill stuff like this like you know little graphic tea and then i was super happy to learn that they were doing the collab with the black artist yeah i really had to jump on it and y'all know i'm standing right here because like i said this is our sweet spot this is where the lighting is hitting you know this is where we just gonna be so get used to this picture i'm getting rid of it anyway when i move so i guess i could put it to use right now i'm just about to put this little stuff in my bag i still have to pack and lay out my outfits to see what i want to take but it's like a super chill trip so it's not even that serious i think we're going to dinner one night so that's going to be a dressy thing anyways y'all see in the vlog what we do yeah so i'm just about to take this stuff off I was okay you guys oh now the light want to pop on in my parking spot but hello i actually look like somebody because i put makeup on i get so tired of getting on this camera looking crazy i'm constantly putting sanitizer on my hands and my hands be so dry my hands look really dry when i was editing my last video where i was showing you guys the stuff i had picked up from home goods i realized my skin looked it extremely dry okay so on today's agenda we have I, I need to go get my sister's birthday gift she her birthday was valentine's day i didn't really know what to get her so i figured it out last night i was just thinking she's going to miami for her birthday her birthday already passed but she's going to miami today and she's not a really big makeup wearer but she will wear makeup it's just like she's not against it but she just doesn't wear it 
So I thought it would be nice if I get her the Fenty Powder Foundation to take with her to Miami because it's really lightweight and um, it is really natural and it doesn't require her to like apply a whole bunch of makeup. You guys know I just did a review on that and like I said I think it's really good for vacation or really good for somebody who really doesn't wear makeup like that. So I'm gonna get her that. So I'm gonna go to Sephora now. The only thing is, is she lives, there's a Sephora this way and she lives this way. So I don't wanna go this way, but there's a JC Penney's with a Sephora in the inside of it. That one might not have her color, which I don't even know what her color is. I'm about to go in here and show them a picture of her and try to see if I can find her color. But I don't know if they will have her color, so I can't even call them before I go to save myself some time. I have to just go and hope that they have it because that's really what I want to get her. And if I can't get her that. I don't know what I would get her. So I'm going to her house today. And then I also have to go and sell some lashes. Somebody that I grew up with, she's like a loyal, loyal customer. So she ordered four pair of lashes. And I'm gonna be meeting her in the same city my sister lives in. And plus I'm gonna see my nieces because I haven't seen them in quite some time got my water today i'm drinking out of my starbucks um tumbler the matte black one i love it so much and i have to hurry up and drink this because as you guys know i like my water ice cold and it will not stay cold for too long in here like it does the hydro flask so i need to down this fast i'm gonna stop by and see my parents probably take them some lunch that's what's on my agenda for today i just posted my vlog yesterday and it's not doing good that's the thing i hate it's just that my vlogs like i feel like i've mastered not mastered but like i really feel like i have a good idea of the videos that will do well on my channel not go viral but you know just bring in numbers for me even though I shouldn't care about the numbers, I do. It's very hard to not care about the numbers. I recorded this video three times. One, two, maybe two times. I recorded this sit down, chit chat, get ready with me video. And each time I recorded it, I didn't like the way it came out. So I was getting into some real heavy stuff about myself and I just think that that's a sign that I shouldn't talk about it, I guess. I got sucked into this loop of like doing videos that I didn't even really want to do. I was just doing them to get the traction on my channel, trying to meet my watch hours. And I have videos that I've done that are doing really good and I have to make sure that I meet my watch hours within a year. It's not, it's calculated by the year or I would have been met them, but it's calculated within the last 12 months, 4,000 watch hours. I'm close to being at that point, but I have to keep, you know, keep the video to get my watch hours. So that's why i feel like i got sucked into doing videos that i didn't really want to do just lost interest in it because i wasn't doing what i really wanted to do but then it's like a catch oh, uh -oh. it's like a catch 22 because when i do do videos i love like vlogging or just stuff that i love which i do love hair and makeup but i just don't want my channel to be all about that i want it to be about vlogging they don't get views but i get it because people go to youtube and the most typed in thing is like how to or a product that they might like they um type that product in and nobody is going to youtube and typing in my name because they don't know me so i don't think my it's the quality of my videos it's just the fact that people have to know you in order to go looking and being interested in what you do and the only way i can do that is to keep you know pushing the videos out i feel like my quality is good it's interesting but nobody 
knows me enough to watch it and then YouTube wants to encourage people to stay on the platform so they're only suggesting stuff that people are looking for or watching. I'm here at JCPenney's and I'm about to go into hey putting no mask when makeup is just it just ruined. I have to go into Sephora. I don't even want to take my purse. There's so much stuff in this purse. It's just like so much stuff. Um, I'm going to record on my phone because this is a really small JCPenney's and I don't have time for them to be staring at me. So, yeah. I'm going to record on my phone. Damn. I'm just leaving my sisters. I actually need to call the girl to see where she is. That's okay, I'm coming right now. Okay. Okay, I'll call you when I'm outside. Oh, right. uh, let me check on my package and see. So, it's out for delivery. They leave packages just for anybody to get and, and they used to actually leave them outside. So that's that. So it's just, it's really bad. So hopefully my package gets delivered today because I really want, would really like to get what I paid for, period. But yeah, I need some gas. I never stop any gas. So I'm gonna stop and get gas, take um drop these eyelashes off and then grab some food and then go back home so i'll see you guys so i am back home now i just ate because i haven't ate all day and um my package so my package came my on track package that i was complaining about and i got a Amazon package, which I'm right here because the lighting is better. Even though I hate this lighting in this house, I'm looking up at the light right now. Um, I have my boyfriend take, can you guys see? Take this off. This is a box of stuff I need to take care of, but I had him take that off. But it's a weird type of light. It's not like light bulbs. Okay, yeah. so yesterday I was supposed to go to Lowe's to get some lighting because it's to the point where I don't even like filming in my house because the lighting is just so yellow and I hate it so much. So I'm going to go to Lowe's, try to find a new cover and some light bulbs. I got to get up there or I probably get my boyfriend to get up there and take a picture of that light so I can know exactly which one to get. I'm gonna go to Lowe's and get some white lights tomorrow. I have to go to Ulta because the foundation that I got, it doesn't match. I already took it back, but they didn't have a color that I felt like I needed. So this is about to be my last attempt to find my color. So I need to go and do that. I'm back at home now. And I'm just watching some YouTube. I should start editing this video. Oh yeah, and I ordered a detox last night. I ordered this detox. And I'll tell you guys what it is when I get it. It'll probably be in next week's vlog. <sighs> It'll probably come out, the not this Sunday, but the next Sunday because this Wednesday, I'm gonna try to do a content video or it might be a blog, I don't know. But um, I ordered this detox stuff. Prior to quarantine, I had gained weight. But quarantine, I just been like overindulged. I hear my name. I've been overindulging and even like for the last, I'll say two years, just eat what I wanna eat. And I've never been a person like that. Like I've always been a person that watched my weight and i just been living my best life eating all the food i love i've always loved food and i've always been really thick and then my weight will fluctuate it will go up and down but i always kept like an eye on it i'm doing this detox because i want to clean my system out and i want to start you know eating healthier i always do detoxes i'm just the type of person that just 
like I constantly do detoxes because I just want to always clean my body out because sometimes I do like eat crazy so I'm gonna do a detox I'm not really concerned about losing weight from it like obviously I would like to but if I don't then that's fine because I just need like a restart button so I can start eating more clean and I have to get more active but like what I really want to do is get my son active so I'm looking for a basketball team for him hopefully I can find him a basketball team and while he's on the basketball team I can walk you know wherever he's at hopefully it's at some type of like I would like for it to be at his old school because they have a football field. I could walk around while he's like in practice. So that would be perfect. So I end up breaking down. I didn't tell you guys, but I bought an Apple watch because I had bought one of those little generic watches and it just wasn't doing it for me. So I bought this Apple watch because I want to, I want to calculate my steps. Like that's the main reason I need to put this to use on. And then I also wanted to buy, so I first wanted the Peloton bike, but I really don't trust myself to buy something like that, which is kind of a slur, just like $3,000 or like 24, 2,500. I don't trust myself to buy that and not use it. And the bike is really nice. I like the aesthetic of it and everything like that, but I don't want it to sit in my living room and collect dust. So I need to be sure about it. So I need to be sure about it when I make the purchase. So that's why I haven't bought it yet because I don't want it to just be like, like a furniture piece basically just sitting there but i gotta do something because it's getting out of hand i'm too th 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 thick last night when i was cooking i was vlogging it and my camera fell face first with the lens popped out and now my lens is not broke but it's making a funny noise when it pops out to open and it's irking my nerves so now i really need a new camera broke my other lens while vlogging in the bathroom cleaning up the bathroom <sighs> that's why i'm saying like this vlog life is different and i have it on a tripod but i guess i just had the tripod like tilted down too much so it fell on his face and when it falls with the lens um ejected like this it just it's a problem it closes, it don't make noise but when it opens it makes a noise and that that just irks me i was planning on buying me a camera anyway but i wanted to wait until it was completely monetized to do so so i could feel like i'm actually you know it's gonna be like my little gift to myself so i'm gonna try to hold out i did so good with picking my sister's fenty skin color like remember i was in sephora i was talking to you guys in the car about the gift that I got her for her birthday and when I tell y'all I did that I did that like I did so good with matching her and I did it on the phone and a lady was like so discouraging but I really did it to her house we applied it to look at the color and it looks so good it looks so pretty so she's in Miami right now I hope she has fun but yeah that worked out perfectly perfectly y'all know what really set my makeup game up as well is the laura mercier translucent powder in honey that took my makeup to the next level i was gonna have some of this tonight but this red is a little bit too bitter and i don't like that but i'm about to just have some what he talking about what you talking about in here he's really crazy but I know that this is a champagne flute and it's not a wine glass. My wine glasses are really wide and I don't want that much. So I'm going to just have, have it in this champagne flute. Today was a really productive day for me. The last couple days have been extremely productive so I'm really proud of myself. Baby steps. You guys won't see me until tomorrow. Saturday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey you guys. So I didn't vlog too much today because I spent most of my day cleaning my house, like really deep cleaning. I went to sleep at like 3 or 4 a.m. I woke up at like 7 
cleaned my house for like four hours, laid down, took a four hour nap, and I'm basically been up for like an hour. So I need to run out to get something we need for dinner. But I am about to be showing you guys what I'm making for dinner tonight. I'm making fish tacos and shrimp tacos. It's my first time. It's a new recipe. So I'm about to run out and get some Mexican rice and some Mexican cheese to go with our dinner. And I'll show you guys how I make it when I get back home. So I also went to Home Goods yesterday and I really want to show you guys that stuff too because I need to put it up. Yeah, I need to put it up. So I want to show you guys. I only got a couple things. So I got this brush cleaner. I've been really needing. What? I've been really wanting a brush um, to clean my bottles, like all my hydro flasks. I really didn't need this, but it just came with it and we probably won't even use it. I'm not sure because I don't really have too many silicone um, cleaning supplies, so I'm not sure, but it might be a game changer. But yeah, so um, I got this brush set cleaner and then we needed some more hand soap for the bathroom and this one is 21 fluid ounces and it was on sale for three dollars so i just grabbed it and it's just regular hand soap i can put in the bathroom i got this frying well i don't know what this is a non-stick non-stick cooling rack but i'm gonna use it for frying like when i fry my food. the fried food drain out so i got this and this was 9.99 for two also got a really interesting base but i'm gonna save this for another video that i'm doing so you guys will just have to stay tuned to see this base but it's super cool so those are all the things i got i'm about to run out now before it gets too late because it's like 7 30 so i'm about to run out to um the mexican um uh, market that's by our house and get what i need to make dinner tonight so Thank you. 